2023 Help New Features in Google Chat. If you've been watching the videos recently, you know that I love chat. Initially cautious when this came out in the work environment, I fully embraced chat and born again, I realised the error of my ways. When training groups in chat, I often get comparison questions between whatever single use built for purpose SaaS they are using for their chat communications and Google Chat. Overall, I point out that the beauty of chat is not in its singular features, but in how it interacts with the rest of the Google interface. The fact that it's potentially going to save you money on a single use license is also a really good helping fact. In the last few months, Google has been pushing out a number of updates that really make it competitive in the market. And I'd like to tell you about a few of my favorites. Before we get to that, there are a number of updates that have rolled out that will be interesting to those of you in an admin role. The new web onboarding experience will make your users' first steps easier. With simple call to actions and steps to get your users engaging in one-to-one -one chats, starting spaces, and exploring available apps and integrations. The functionality is now available in AppSheet to build chat apps that will integrate with your organization's spaces, getting the right information into the right channel. New tools in the admin panel allow much greater control and visibility over spaces. View space activity, external exposure, history status, and add or remove members and change permissions. Admins can now set auto deletion periods for one to one group and space conversations. Obviously, this final tool is affected by Vault usage and the user's personal history settings. But for me, it's all about the improvements for your end users. First up, Let's take a look at announcement only spaces. These spaces allow for one way traffic on communications and are great for official organization or department spaces. Use these to release quarterly updates, communicate important information or updates to say your customer support team. Space managers can create messages which space members can respond to with emoji but crucially cannot join the conversation. Keep your communications clear, clean, and up to date. To create an announcement only space, start by creating your space with a clear name and a description, explaining why your members will not be able to create messages. Add your members and set your access level. Announcement only spaces used for organizational updates can benefit from being discoverable, this allows managers to quickly get new starters access through a link. Unhide the advanced section to see the option to allow only space managers to post. Toggle this functionality on and click create. A space manager will see no difference in this space to any other space in which they work in. Space members, however, will see a greyed out chat box with none of the action icons. The chat box will state that only space managers can post and the information icon advises that posting in this space is limited. Space members can react to the message using emoji from the message menu and can forward a copy of the message to their inbox, but all reply functionality is closed down. As the space creator, you can give space manager permissions to other space members and this allows for multiple content editors within the channel. Detailed calendar information. Around a year ago, you will have noticed more information in your one-to-one -one chat windows, telling you if a colleague is in a meeting or not. Google has built up this functionality to provide more detailed information. When starting to chat with a colleague, you will see statuses for upcoming meetings, what time ongoing meetings are due to finish, and when a period of out of office might be ending. All of which helps inform users' communication style, strategy, and even which channel they might use. This functionality is owned by default and can be managed at an organization level by an administrator. However, 
can be controlled by the end user within calendar settings by toggling on or off show calendar info in other apps. But ultimately, who can see this availability depends on what calendar permissions you have set. Whether you have ticked make available to public, make available for your organization, or if you have locked all that down and shared only with specific collaborators. Quick react to messages. A little update, but one with a great time impact. Previously to react to a message, we had to use the hover menu to access emoji with the most recent appearing at the top of the pop-up. Now Google will display the top three frequent emojis on the hover menu, allowing you to quickly hover, react, and move on to doing something else. Simple. Quote a previous message. A commonly requested feature in training. I'm delighted to say that the days of screenshotting a previous message to bring it back into the conversation are over. From the hover menu, the arrow icon allows the user to include the message in their post. The quoted message will appear within a distinct box with the name of the original poster. As the user adds the quoted text to the chat box, it appears cut off as this is simply a preview. Once the message is posted, the full text of the quotation will appear. Lastly, and most importantly, increased controls for space managers. We touched on these in our chat series recently. Space managers can limit some functionality for space members in order to keep better control over a space. From the settings menu, a space manager can limit the ability to add members to space managers only. This can be crucial for spaces dealing with confidential information or projects. In addition, permissions can be limited to space managers for changing the space details, including the name, changing the history setting, and use of the at all function, which notifies everybody about a post. Space members will see the add members button and the remove from space option as greyed out in the manage members section. When trying to post using at all, the all option will appear as greyed out. I think some of these new features really boost chat and spaces as a tool, especially the added controls both for admins and for space managers. Now you can create an announcement only space, see more detail about your colleagues availability, quick react with commonly used emojis, quote previous messages in new replies, lock up access functionality to space managers only. Of course, these are only the big ones. Tell us what updates you're enjoying in chat and how you're using chat to communicate in your business. Until next week, see you then.